This video is completely for educational purpose. I do not encourage any illegal hacking and I'm not responsible for any action. I performed this hacking in my cyber security lab and it is completely isolated from my actual network. Without further ado, let's get into the video here. For this demonstration, I have downloaded the Windows 11 from the Windows entire Insider program and configured on my virtual cyber security lab. I'm going to hack Windows 11 using reverse shell payload. I'm just going to use a bad USB and get the remote access of Windows. One more virtual machine I'm just using is Kali. So Kali is the very famous penetration security tool. So I'm just going to perform my attack from on this from Kali Lumni. Okay. So I have already created a, a payload. So let me go and quickly create it. So for this one, MSF control. So I need to open a reverse shell listening one so that when payload is uh, initiated, right? So I can get the access of Windows 11 mission. So the Metasploit framework is on. So let's go and quickly open the multi handler, use exploit multi handler. Now we go and quickly set the payload set payload windows interpreter reverse ECP connection. Okay, show options set L host. So basically uh, we need to tell the Kali Linux IP address. So the IP address of Kali is this is the Kali A1, so 192.168.1.102. So let me set it quickly, 198.1.102. And uh, let me set the L port, port value is 1234. Okay, and so options, one more, see, one more time, let me check it whether it is applied or not. Okay, so let me run it. Okay, so the connection is on. Uh, so using a bad USB, we just going to uh, perform, uh, just apply the payload and gain the access of the Windows 11 machine. So Rubber Ducky is a fa very famous uh, HackFi uh, uh, product developer. Uh, it comes with a, it's a very famous tool. It's, you can apply tons of payloads here, and you can. Uh, you can run any scripts and you can uh, do a multiple uh, things as well. It is very uh, popular tool, but most of the people, right? So then cannot afford a, a rubber ducky. So I have find the alternative uh, solution. So this is a, a tiny, 80 tiny, 85 board. So there are three types of variables are there. So we can run the uh, payload and uh, it do the same kind of uh, rubber ducky. So it's a alternative solution to the rubber ducky. Uh, anyway, I'm just uh, going to make a, a video on how to configure a payload, how to you can utilize it. So it is coming on it. So so I have already configured uh, a payload in this one. So reverse shell, um, so it's a bad uh, ESB. So all I need to do now is I need to connect this one in the laptop uh, so that uh, I'll get the reverse shell one. device is loaded and uh, you can see that not actually this payload is means I just rejected but you will not see nothing is happening over here uh, but let's go to the hacker machine and see what is happening over there okay so you can see that I have got the metapeta session so this double ducky when I just rejected it upload the payload and it is connected with the bus so let me see let me get UID See, it uh, says that this is the one thing, and uh, let me see what all information I can get it. So let me help, and uh, let me see if I able to get the uh, system info. You can see this. You can see that that yes, 
with the Windows 11 machine. So I have, there are other scripts as well there uh, for this demonstration, just doing a remote shell, but there are plenty of scripts are there to do it. So thank you all for joining today in this exciting session. I hope you found the content informative. If you enjoy this video, please consider giving like to this video and also share your feedback in the comment below. Your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming videos. Also, feel free to share this video with others who might find it interesting. If you have any question or need further clarification about anything shown in this video, don't hesitate to reach out to me via Discord. Lastly, a big thank to my subscribers and your encouragement keeps me motivated to create more valuable content for you. Stay safe, stay curious. See you soon with another interesting video. Bye for now. Take care.